Hey, what's up? Welcome. So we're back here in Studio A and today we've got something new. A little over three years ago, you remember we got the Snapmaker 2.0 A350 and it arrived in October of 2020. And a little over a week ago, we got something new, the Snapmaker Artisan. Alrighty, so here is the quick start guide. We got one of these in the 2.0 box as well. By the way, we built a whole new desk for this. Um, so hopefully it's sturdy enough. All right, these are big. <laughs> for comparison, that is the Artisan Linear Module, and that is the A350 Linear Module. So the first thing you notice is that there's no cardboard. All of these came in cardboard boxes for the A350. You've got your linear rails. This is your toolbox. This is your power module. That thing is huge as well. Here's the new one next to the A350 power module. And this one also has a touchscreen on it, as well as an emergency stop, whereas this one is just power. Next layer down, we have the heated bed and print bed, 3D printing module, tool head connector, Z-axis connectors, and the X-axis connectors. This bed is quite a bit bigger, it looks like, than the A350 one. So there is your size comparison. You can just barely see the A350 one right there. The heated bed for the A350 isn't that thick. Look at the size of this bed frame and heated bed for the artisan this thing is huge and it's heavy so underneath the print bed you then get the pla you also get breakaway filament for the pla and then you also get the filament spool holders as well as some cables down there and underneath everything the base plate this thing is the entire size of the box almost it is crazy you got more mounts for your z-axis a whole bunch of mounts for the y-axis so yeah that is everything that comes in the box one for the snapmaker artisan there's another box with the enclosure and the cnc laser modules the beds all that other stuff for those but for now we're just going to be assembling the base machine just like the structure of it and so yeah there's your unboxing of the snapmaker artisan now it's time to start assembling it And they say it takes a couple of hours to build. It's currently 12.55, so we will see uh, how long it takes to go through and build this thing. Also, for the A350, all the instructions came inside of the booklet. For the Artisan, there's actually no instructions in the booklet. Um, there's a couple of things like safety and you know other important things, but don't really relate to the actual building of the machine. It's actually all on YouTube. So they have a YouTube video that goes through, tells you how to assemble the machine. So let's see how it goes. All right, so all of the screws for the linear modules on the y-axis are all complete. The only problem I had was I was tightening the screw, giving them all one final push, and I stripped the screw there. So that one is actually stripped. The Allen wrench seems to be a little loose against the bolts. Um, it just, whenever you're tightening them, it kind of cocks and you have to twist it back a little bit to get it undone. Just watch out for it whenever you're assembling yours. Okay, lunch is over, time to get back to working on the machine. We need to go ahead and install the X-axis now, so let's do that. Okay. 
Look at all these cables! That is a lot of cables. Okay, so there we go. We went through and finished up everything for the 3D printing head module. We went through and attached the heated bed and the support platform, 3D printing dual head module, and went through and plugged everything in. They do give you this really, really nice like cable strap to be able to cover all of your all of your wires. So that is pretty nice. Turns your cable nest into something usable. And uh, yes, yeah, so everything's plugged into the power supply now, and now all we have to do is turn it on. You ready to turn it on? Yep. Okay. Does this seem to come off? I usually leave that for now. Ooh, it's on. That was pretty cool. There you go. Okay. Okay, the emergency stop button was on. It never gave us the option to go into English. Well, it skipped it. Oh, it skipped it. There we go. Because I think the emergency button was on. Yeah, that should be it. <laughs> Shouldn't be but you until after. Okay. Steps to initialize the dual extruder module. Ooh, it's moving. It is quieter. It is quieter. Surprisingly. Alright, now I want you to load the filament and remove the tape from the door. Oh. Here's the inside of the uh, dual extruder module. Oh, so it's just a magnet, magnet. this time. Huh. Okay, heating the left nozzle. Here it comes. My white. This one's black. Yep, here we go. Please wait a few seconds. Okay, you're using up all of our filament. <laughs> Holy moly. Continue. Hang the white filament from the right side. You insert into the right feeding tube. It make a very nice spiral. I wish there was a button you could say like, oh, it's good, you know? <laughs> okay, right now it's all loaded. Okay, done. Filament loaded. Okay, Z offset calibration and heated bed leveling. The bed machine will automatically calibrate the Z offset and level the heated bed. Clean the glass build plate and nozzles before you tap start. Oh, see how they adjust? Oh, and that's cool. It can actually, like, physically touch the bed. Yeah. Because it can move them up and down. Yep. So it can, so like, it can actually... sense the, the movement. This one's got a lot of force behind it. Continue. Okay, the machine will print one calibrated model for X and Y orientation each. Yeah. 
Okay, and what's come here? Come look at the best one. Which one looks best to you? Looking for the lines to line up. See how these ones over here are not lined up. So we want to put it on that one, right? And then for Y, I'm thinking it's the one right next to it, right? Because right? then you can start to see a bigger gap. Yep. Okay. Prepare for calibration check. Clean the glass build plate. Tap to start checking. We'll print a built in model to check the calibration. Observe the model. If the edges of the model is printed on a line, It'll be interesting trying to get all this stuff off for the non-flexible wow. bed. Okay, updated hardware, main board and touch screen. Start. Hardware updated. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad that it doesn't show the Wi-Fi anymore. Welcome to <laughs> Studio A. The Artisan is finally built, as you can tell from the video. It just, it looks cool, man. I like it. I wanted to close out this video by going over the first impressions of the unboxing, the setup, the couple uses of the machine we've had so far. For an unboxing, it was an unboxing. I don't know, everything was, it comes with this like foam. Everything slides in there perfectly. Nothing came in broken, so that was good. As long as your UPS guy or whatever isn't just kicking it across the yard. It does take up a lot more space than the A350. Just want to point that out. If you're running low on space, Artisan may not be for you. If you have plenty of extra space, awesome. We have the four by seven foot piece of plywood and it's almost taking up the whole four feet. So it's big. For the setup, it was actually really easy. I went back and watched the video for the setup of the A350 and they both took about the same. The A350 was an hour and 47 minutes. This one was about an hour and a half to two hours. So about the same amount of time. However, it did feel a lot easier. With the A350, there's a whole bunch of holes. You have to like kind of read the manual, which by the way, the video manual was pretty simple having them go through and like show you how stuff is assembled and where to do this and where to do that i thought it was great in terms of just following the video it was nice it was easy it was a great experience but one of the things that made the artisan setup a lot easier was it doesn't have all of the holes the a350 has a whole bunch of holes like for spacing which is great for mounting stuff afterwards but it was a little annoying for the setup this one eight holes you gotta put eight bolts boom they're going right in those eight holes the other thing that made this one a lot easier um i was watching the video for the a350 setup that i made and i had to flip the bed over and screw stuff in from the bottom this one you flip the base onto the y-axis uh, linear modules you screw those in flip it back over onto the top right side up and everything else builds up from there you don't have to flip anything else over you don't have to do this or that everything just goes straight up so that was really nice they recommend like two people because it can get really heavy so if you're looking to set it up by yourself i did it by myself it's doable one of the nice things about the artisan is it has locating pins so you can kind of get it going and kind of jiggle it on there and then whenever you hear it kind of like snap together you know okay these things are together i can start screwing it in and it provides a little bit extra support than just the bolts holding everything on but it also made setup really easy so i thought the locating pins was really nice very helpful Good job, Snapmaker. Alrighty, and now for actually like machine use. When we first turned on the machine, we did have the e-stop button depressed. It doesn't actually let you get to the language selection. It'll just start blurring an error at you in Chinese, and I don't know what that means. So I pulled out my phone, Google translated it, and it said, hey, the e-stop button is depressed. I can't do anything. You undo the e-stop button and boom, you can tap on the screen and then finally get to the language selection screen. Or before you turn the machine on, just undo the e-stop, you'll get to the language selection screen, hopefully totally fine. Heated bed, it comes with the PEI side up and the glass facing down. In the calibration setup, it says to clean the glass plate. So we did have to go through and kind of very gently pull the heated bed out, flip it over and put it back in want to save yourself a little bit of a hassle just before you turn the machine on undo the clips for the heated bed flip it over to the glass plate and you'll be all set ready to go printing the calibration model that was all super easy um i went over it did the calibration points it printed the little xy guide you choose your points print the calibration model i liked it i thought it was good no complaints and that's about it that's about all i have for you in terms of first impressions for those of you that have stuck around this far Something really cool I did is I went through and 3D modeled the whole Snapmaker Artisan, like the base box minus the 3D printing head. So if you're interested in seeing what this would look like on your desk or what it looks like compared to your A350, I've got both of those up on shoptusher.com. You can download the A350 model. You can download the Snapmaker Artisan model. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for all of the other stuff yet. I do plan on 
3D modeling those, um, hopefully on like some live streams. So if you're interested, hit subscribe and you can check those out and be a part of it. And also if you're interested in saving some money, if you're looking to get one of these machines or the J1S or the A350, there is a referral link down below. You can get $100 off of your order. I believe it works with the holiday discount. So if you're looking to uh, take advantage of the 40% off sales that Snapmaker is like always having, they're like almost always on sale. So buy them on sale and then use the referral link down below. It'll give you a code, get $100 off your machine, save some money. But that's it. I look forward to using this machine. I'm very excited to have it. It's kind of revived a little spark inside of me to say like, hey, get out and get creating. And Snapmaker, we did make something wonderful. We made this desk for the artisan. So we did your tagline. We made a wonderful giant sturdy desk so thank you for uh, thanks for inspiring us i appreciate it if you're looking to get an artisan hopefully maybe it helped you out if you already have one and you're just looking at other videos thanks for watching i appreciate it yeah i'm terrible at getting out of here again shoptusher.com 3d models for you if you'd like you can use the referral code down below to save some money until next time take care and uh yeah bye